Hello, this is Galit Gofarb and thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to be talking about sprouting, the health benefits and how it's done. The practice of sprouting involves soaking seeds, legumes, grains or nuts, followed by an incubation period. Now you soak and incubate the seeds until they grow a tail-like protrusion and then you know they've sprouted. The soaking period increases the water content inside the seeds and brings them out of their dormancy period. And after draining them and rinsing them at regular intervals, they will sprout. Now, sprouting has so much health benefits that you really, really want to try it. Soaking and sprouting time is unique for every type of seed, nut, grain, or legume. For some seeds, soaking only needs 20 minutes. And for others, a whole day is required. It depends on the type and the size of the seed. For example, a mung bean, sprouting, uh, the soaking period needs about eight hours and then sprouting needs about four days. Whereas lentils, on the other hand, need seven hours of slow soaking, but they will sprout within two days. So while this process may seem complicated, really it's not. It's very, very easy and doesn't require any special equipment. And many people swear by it because of the many health benefits that come with sprouting. Sprout, sprouts are considered to be a wonder food because of all their health benefits. They can be raw, steamed, or cooked. You can add them to, to cook dishes as well to increase the nutritional content. So they are excellent. So what do they help us with? Well, first of all, they help us improve digestion and bowel movement. Sprouts contain various enzymes that boost metabolic processes in the body, particularly digestion. And because of the dietary fiber inside, they actually go through the digestive tract much more easily and they stimulate the production of gastric juices and they effectively build up a healthy microbiome that helps break down food, other food as well. Now, specific sprouts such as broccoli have compounds such as sulforaphane, which enhances antioxidant activity. And research shows that eating broccoli sprouts every day can help normalize bowel movements and actually reduce chronic oxidative stress. Now, some of us suffer from constipation because of the stress. So this is how uh, broccoli sprouts can actually, they help our body cope with stress. So if you're suffering from a lot of stress, definitely you want to consume sprouts. Now, um, sprouting also helps prevent iron deficiency because they have high amounts of iron and copper, which help the body maintain red blood cell uh, level count. And when you have sufficient iron in your body, not only will you be healthier, more energetic, but also you will have sufficient nourishment for your hair and your skin, so you will also look better when you consume sprouts. They also enhance cellular and muscular health because they are rich in protein, the building blocks of muscle, bone, tissue, skin tissue, cartilage, immune cells. The proteins are involved in practically every bodily function. Amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein, uh, are concentrated more in higher levels in sprouted uh, foods, and they're also more digestible and absorbable. And according to a study, sprouted mung bean and soya beans have higher levels of phytonutrients compared to their mature counterparts. And vitamin C levels in sprouted mung beans were much higher compared to the mature mung beans as well. Now, soya bean sprouts were observed to have higher concentrations of isoflavonoids, which are phytoestrogens that promote heart health, bone density, they prevent certain types of cancer, uh, they improve cognitive function as well, and they reduce all the hormonal symptoms that we may have. Um, also, sprouting supports weight loss because sprouting also increases the fiber content of the foods and eating sprouts will help push waste out of your body and uh, the toxins in the gut as well, remove them from the body, improving digestion, improving your health, improving regular bowel movements as well. And it helps keep you full for longer because of the high fiber content. So you'll be slacking, snacking less between meals. Now also sprouts are very high in nutrients, which keep you full for longer. And also they are low in calories. So, and the, now they also have other benefits that have been researched. They uh, help in the prevention of cat cataracts, macular di 
degeneration and are also great for helping us heal from viral infections. Sometimes we don't even know that we have them, but we suffer from certain symptoms and we don't know what the cause is and it could be a viral infection. So sprouting also helps uh, reduce the foods that vi viruses need. So here is a simple step-to-step -step guide to sprouting. You need one cup of seeds with two cups of water and a small piece of thin paper towel, a kitchen paper towel or 100% cotton cloth. And you need a, a small glass container and you also need another piece of cloth um, to help cover up the seeds in the second part of the sprouting period in the incubation period. So first of all, you place the seeds in the glass container and you cover with the water and you leave it to stand uncovered or covered with the paper towel for about eight to 12 hours depending on the seed. Now, in just a minute, I'll add a list of uh, the seed, this um, soaking period for each seed. So once you've finished that period, the soaking period, you place the seeds in a sieve and you remove all the water, you rinse them, and then you scoop them up, you scoop up those damp, damp seeds and you um, cover them up with a paper towel, a damp paper towel or the moistened cotton cloth, and you wrap them up and you place them in a dark place in the house and on a plate, and you leave them there for between one and five days. You keep checking them up, you keep adding moisture to the cloth, and then you'll suddenly see that they actually have this protruding tail and you know they will have sprouted. Now you may eat them raw or cook them, add them to, to dishes. Okay, so here is a list now of the soaking times for each seed that you will need. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you liked it, tell me what you liked in the comment section. And also, you may subscribe to my channel. I'd be very grateful. I'd be very happy to keep supplying you with a lot of content. You can also visit my blog at www.thegorillodiet.com. Thank you very much.